you may still be a little lost. <laughs> I am dressed as Aaron Rodgers. And there's a reason I'm dressed as Aaron Rodgers. Because I want to play Aaron Rodgers for this segment. For the record, there were multiple mustaches available to me. This felt a little French impressionist painter. <laughs> So I got rid of that one, and we went with the one that I think is more Aaron Rodgers slash Andy Reid. But <laughs> Aaron Rodgers had a couple quotes yesterday about the Mike McCarthy firing, and I thought they were ridiculous, especially for a guy that's probably the smartest guy in the league. Peyton Manning, for a long time, you were like smartest guy in the league. Aaron Rodgers is really smart. So here were the quotes Aaron Rodgers said yesterday that nobody in their right mind believes. Number one, I was as shocked as you were. I hope I'm not the reason that Mike McCarthy got fired. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. Aaron, you ran him out. I get it. I, and by the way, I defended you. Some relationships get old. It's time to give Aaron a reboot. I defend Aaron. I've been divorced. It's okay. Life moves on. Not every relationship lasts forever. Pat Riley once said, after about 10 years, you should leave. Your voice becomes white noise. So I said today, I'm going to play Aaron Rodgers. And I want to make this feel like a press conference. And John and Joy are going to ask me pointed questions. That if Aaron Rodgers would have been totally, brutally honest about this, would you think less of Aaron Rodgers? And I'm going to make an argument you wouldn't have. You read that quote, I was as shocked as many as you were. I, I hope I'm not the reason. I think less of Aaron for that. If he would have been brutally honest, I think we'd feel better. So let's make it sound like a press conference. All right, start the question. All right, Aaron, what are your thoughts on your only head coach you've ever had, Mike McCarthy, being fired? Well, it's weird. I mean, when you're in a relationship for like a decade, you don't know any other way. So this is going to be different. Did you have anything to do with the decision on the firing of Mike McCarthy? I think like any relationship, there's highs and lows. And Mike's going to get another job. And I hope I flourish from this point forward. But I think... Over the course of the last two years, Mike and I have had differences. And I think I wore him out a little bit. And there are days he wore me out. And I think we're both good people. And I both think we'll succeed going forward. But we had an open line of communication with the general manager. And I think it was time for both of us to go a different direction. Aaron, what do you make of the reports from former teammates that you frequently rolled your eyes at Mike McCarthy's play calls? You know... I've always believed whether it's family or my football family, there are discussions and moments that I'm not going to discuss. Um, I will tell you, and I think it was probably visible, there are times I was frustrated. There are times I look around the league and I think, I wish we did more of this, this, that. But again, some of this is on me. I've got my way. I've got my style. I'm not the easiest guy in the NFL to coach. So I don't want to finger point. Here's what I know. Both Mike and I did everything in our power to win in Green Bay. And we're good people. And I still have great respect for him. But it wasn't easy. And I think sometimes I was a little immature. Aaron, you lead the NFL in throwaways by a mile. Were you purposely throwing the ball away because you thought the play calls were bad? Uh, I came off an injury, Joy. Thank you for the question. I I throw the ball away more this year, and I thought it was a fairly obvious reason, because I got injured. And more than any year in my career, I've had two shoulder surgeries, and I got hurt again this year, and I'm turning 35, and I threw the ball away more this year simply because I wasn't going to take sacks. I didn't want to get hit. Uh, some of it was just simply uh, trying to preserve my career. The Cardinals are a struggling, rebuilding team with a rookie quarterback, and they beat you at home. How, did you sabotage that game to get Mike McCarthy fired? Sabotage? <laughs> Every moment of the week between me and this team is about winning. Uh, we didn't play well. I didn't play well. And frankly, I haven't played well in a month. I have not played well in a month. And I take full responsibility for that. Aaron, the world wants to know, what's up with the mustache? Is it real? In this instance, it's completely fake. <laughs> oh, whoops, that was worse. Um, no, this is not my real mustache. 
I am playing a character. Okay. Um, but generally speaking, if I was Aaron, it would be real. Uh, one last one, Aaron. What do you think of Colin Cowherd? I think he's a fine broadcaster, one of the great voices <laughs> in American sports, and I wish everybody would leave him alone because I listen to him every day, 9 to 12 Pacific, 12 to noon, 12 to 3 Eastern on FS1, a great network for sportscasters. Now, let me ask you something besides this ridiculous, painful mustache. Wouldn't you respect him more? Wouldn't you appreciate that more than the quote, I was, I was just as shocked as everybody else was. I mean, this thing came out of left field. I mean, I think Aaron's going to get criticized no matter what, but it, I always go with being authentic over whatever that quote is. By the way, you do a great Jeff Foxworthy impression. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I don't take that as a compliment. <laughs> strong. Um, Aaron's too smart to conveniently get naive. Yeah. He's way too smart to do this. We all know Aaron's great. We all know he's difficult. By the way, Brett Favre could be difficult. Joe Namath wasn't easy. There have been great quarterbacks. We know this in the NBA. Kevin Durant's personality is different from Steph, is different from Clay. Go look at the Warriors. They have four different personalities. Draymond, Clay, Steph, and Durant are four totally unique personalities. That's okay. Try to make it work. But this idea that you this came out of left field and you were shocked, Aaron, we'll like you more if you if you let the real Aaron out. We know you it didn't work. We got it. By the way, we defended you. Most media people were like, Aaron deserves uh, something else. It's all good, dude. Divorces are fine.